We are Caniops. We're a group of trainers based out of France, but that do training worldwide. And we're also the developers behind the Canine Vision system, which is our um, dog camera system. Uh, so my background is actually in zoology. I started off just as a regular student um, that loved animals. And then I got interested and started training in different dog disciplines. Dogs were always kind of my passion. Um, I did everything from um, sled dog training to sheep dogs to hearing dogs for deaf people. So that's how I got into more service dog type stuff and then fell into police and military canine courses and became very addicted because it's a very dynamic world. I like the real world operation or application. And um, through that, I also discovered ring sport actually. And it was through ring sport that somebody that did not have an operational background um, could get into a lot of the bite work and could show, develop competence and show competence um, in a lot of that and then get into a lot of uh, the military communities and that's how I ended up meeting the French um, canine trainers and so how I ended up in France and how we all got together as a weird mix of both operational and science or scientific based trainers. So this is um, Nitro. He is equipped with our canine vision system, the Rexpex mounted version. Um, it's a camera system that can mount to different platforms. Um, but so this is the receiver which the handler holds so they can see in real time what the dog is seeing. It has both a front and back mounted camera. The little ears are um, speakers so we can give the dogs command at distance via radio. It also has a infrared and a white LED for night vision. And so that's why this is the black and white version because it is night vision compatible but it can have color camera as well, depending on what people need. So the system is a CoFDM encrypted system. So that means it's really, really good at getting around stuff. Um, so when you're going into buildings or if you're working in kind of dense vegetation, it has with a, has different set of antennas that you can use for different range options. So with the small antenna, we're usually getting around 400 meters line of sight we give everything in line of sight because once we go in buildings, it'll depend on the building structure. Um, with our gooseneck antennas, we give 600 meter line of sight. And then when we're in a building with the small guys, we can usually do the entire first and second floor height of the average residential um, apartment building. And then with the other antennas, we can usually get 30% off of what we're getting there. And it'll depend on how much metal we have, how many windows we have, how many doors we have that the signal can find its way out through. The camera system was actually developed based on a training need. So it was developed by a French special operations unit that has a long history of using dogs in their operations. So since the 70s, where they were first created, um, their bread and butter was assault specialty. And then they started to add disciplines to that, um, including detection and tracking. And then today they developed the multi-spec canine which now involves directionals and directionals they developed with American trainers actually. Um, Bob Bailey was kind of the, the birth father of that. Um, he was kind of doing it along the same time that Simon Prince was doing it. Or uh, um, Pat Nolan, sorry. Um, Simon Prince got together with Bob Bailey in Europe and then that's how the French guys got involved and then they went off and developed it for their unit needs. They got really really good at radio guiding dogs at distance and then realize that well now we can't see what they're doing so we can get them in really far but you know we're just leaving them to their own devices and so they started to try out different camera systems on the market um, they there were some that weren't too bad but none of them really met the operational needs in terms of um, latency and then reliability in urban environments. So these units are operating a lot, you know, in Paris, in very, very heavy urban. <laughs> so a lot of obstacles to overcome. And so they went out and started to work with different military surveillance companies that had really good tech that was also really, really small, because that was another issue. You have a giant battery in your dog's back. You're going to be limited now on how you can use that dog. <laughs> um, so working with different companies, they finally got a camera system um, together that had the um, lack of latency, that also um, had the performance they needed, the battery life they needed, and all in a tiny package so that they could now put that on the dog's head and see what the dog is seeing in real time. So uh, we developed the system initially on just our own 
prototype, sad, functional, but you know, not great helmet. <laughs> uh, and then Rexpex came out. And so we developed the module to go on that because it's awesome, it stays on, it's light, it's breathable. The dogs can bite and they can search because obviously the basis of directional stuff was still um, mixed with a salt specialty. So the dog had to be able to use his mouth properly and his nose. And then eventually Canine Helm came out with their awesome helmets and we put the system on that as well. But today we will basically, we can adjust those modules to go on anything people want really, even harnesses though. We tend to like head mounted things because operationally speaking, especially if you're trying to see what the dog is seeing in real time, you're gonna have a hard time not vomiting if it's on a harness. <laughs> So people can find us on caninevision.fr slash en if you want it to be automatically in English. <laughs> Sorry, it's a French-based company. We're working on the English website. But also uh, calibratedcanine.com is our American affiliate. So that's usually you'll hit me directly. Um, or then caniops.com is our um, training facility based out of France. So on our Instagram for the camera systems, we're either canine vision system or then for uh, our training, we are Caniops, so that's C-A-N-I-O-P-S underscore center. So Caniops Center on Instagram.